Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the episode of Coral Island. It's winter, yay. So we need to buy a bunch of seeds. Tomorrow is Raj, Raj's birthday. I think everything to give them is available at their store. Um, Tomorrow's gonna be sunny. Last episode was also the spooky day fest or spooky fest. So yeah, that was a thing. Hey, Alexa, did I leave my pen at your phone? I'm pretty sure I had it with me when I was there for your health record. Look around for me, will you? Thanks. You are you don't need to do anything for that. You just got to find her, I believe. In case you forgot how to make smoke sap and I wrote down the recipe for you. Here you go. Never would have got that out of that message, but okay. Uh, we won the sus hammer, which we're not going to use. I'm going to switch out the rings. I don't really mean 2% block. Like... That ain't worth it. Um, so that's going away. That's going away. Okay. I need to rearrange my bar first. Of all. I want one. And then that doesn't go there. And it's normally this, then this, then that goes there. This goes here. That needs to be sold. Okay. So, I did, it's actually been a few days since I played, um, I did do a lot of research actually, um, well first of all, there's, since there's only three seeds available for winter, so, how many... So I need one, two, so eight times four, 32 of each, and then a random assortment. Um, the snow drop, probably gonna be a little bit of what we can't, we, we um, this one will be a little bit of what we concentrate on. I went so overboard with seeds, oh my God. Um, the snowdrop we're going to concentrate on because you do need an osmium quality for the rare bundle. So, I mean, we'll get it, but we'll concentrate on it. Um, we're going to make uh, a lot of fertilizer. We're probably going to buy a bunch. I don't think we're going to have enough. Um, we unlock that. Interesting. I already have an oil press. Yeah, it's been a few days, so I went through and um, I did a bunch of research on, for a while I've been saying, I don't know, okay, we're out. I don't know what the best, well, okay, I was, I'll start this over again. I was researching because I didn't know if I should make, am I full? No, I'm just clicking the wrong button. I didn't know if I should make more mason jars or more kegs. That's where I was, I left off. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do a bunch of research to figure out what is more useful, more kegs or more mason jars. In my research, I overwhelmingly found that kegs are more useful. There's a few outliers, um, but on the whole, kegs are more useful. Um, they're like the outliers are mainly uh, a few. Well, of course, all the flowers. The flowers are outliers. Um, it's mainly for if I feel like processing all, like, like I said, I want to process everything. If I really feel like processing um, all of the, the scavengeables, that's, those are the outliers, are the scavengeables. So it's like, do I actually want to do them or do I not? I will. We have mason jars, so we will do the scavengeables for that. But on the whole, the keg 
was more worth the keg item was worth more money than the mason jar in almost every single instance. So we're going to make more kegs because of that. The other outliers were things uh, like some things, for instance, almonds, which we don't have an almond tree, so it doesn't really matter. But almonds were more money if you um, put them through um, a mill versus the oil press, I think it was. Oh, no, excuse me. It's the other way around. The oil press was worth more than the mill. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to be there. So, like I said, there's going to be a few outliers, but I kind of I made a huge spreadsheet based upon the the time of year, holiday, I, not holidays. Um, I just keep hitting the wrong button. Thank you. Uh, based upon the season, blah 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 blah. blah. So we did that. Um. And there are a few things that it really is not worth doing um, on the whole. I need to I need to Google this and find out what I'm doing wrong because that is the most useless machine I think I have ever found in a game before. It officially holds the records for being the most useless. Not there. There. Um, we need to fill these. So... Like I said, I'm going to hold on to those. The kegs, the mason jars are going to be used for a lot of the harvestables because it does double their value pretty much. What am I doing? Um, I'm kind of. And then, of course, it goes up because I did. I just I looked at base value. So for a base value vegetable, fruit, whatever, Basic quality versus osmium quality, it doubles the value. That is just basically just the general rule of thumb. Um, it is a different story for base quality versus osmium quality for artisans. There is no rhyme or reason for what their value is. It's kind of what I found. Again, I, I, it got to a point where I just... You could go so deep into it, and I was like, no. We can get rid of a lot of this now. I kind of, I'm confident that uh, we will be fine because we got there in the end. So we're going to just dehydrate all of this and uh, sell it. If we didn't make it... If we did not make it to um, the bamboo shoot is actually can be processed through the mason jars, I think it was. Yes, it doubles their value, so we'll do it. Um, OK, we need to go to town and we need to buy stuff and then go to Raj's cafe, get him a, or get them a gift, excuse me, get them a gift and and we'll start planting. Hello, Connor. Oh, we have a cutscene. Oh, this, are they going to tell us about... Wow, this is a very late... Hey, Lexi. Uh, hi, Leah. You look happy. What's going on? Wow, I got this really late. Oh, I was just... Looking around. Can you keep a secret? Sure, you can count on me. Ooh, I love Juicy Secrets. That would be Erica's response. You can count on me. Great, because I'm dying to tell someone. So, I think I told you that I'm I'm on leave from the air military as a pilot, but my big dream is to become an astronaut. Every year, the air military selects a few pilots for astronaut training, and it's very competitive. Usually, you need to put a few years flying jets before they'll even consider you, but I decided to try my luck, and before I came home, I submitted my application. Ta-da! The application. Or response from Nathan. I qualified for the next round. Wow, congratulations. What's next? I have to take some tests and interview with the program leaders in Tokyo. I'm not a sure... Th it's not a sure thing by any means, but I'm closer than I've ever been. That's great. I'm excited for you. Do you think you have a chance? That one. 
Thanks, I'm excited too. I'm just worried that I may not get in or get it. Thanks for listening, Lexi. I really wanted to tell someone my news, but I can't tell my family yet. I don't want anyone to get their hopes up just yet. I'll wait to tell them until I'm further along in the process or farther along in the process. Further, farther, potato, potato. Not really, but I'm, I'm going to say eh, kind of, kind of. Okay. This corner that needs to be removed from existence, this little thing. Okay, so we still did to get the saplings. Okay, so I didn't have to go as overboard as I did. Okay, we need... Okay, we're gonna go to this first. So, we need 22. Thirty-two. Okay. Okay, so now we have a bunch. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we are going to have extra of those. And the rest, I think we're gonna fill in with just the seeds. I don't care. Okay, so that's another one. So we need 32 again. Done. Okay. I think that was right. I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, Raj. Okay. Raj likes coffee, green tea, a donut. And let me bring up the list. You're going to see a flash in a second. Raj likes coffee, a donut, geisha coffee, green tea. So, you saw, saw a flash again. I apologize to get those and those. Okay. Those are both loved gifts of theirs. So we should get a decent amount of points with Raj. Ooh. That, oh, so for the altar for this, we need Brussels sprouts, kale, rosehip, which are all scavengeables. And then for crops, it is a snowdrop and it bronze tea leaf hope that isn't going to interfere with their pathing there is one bug we need to catch which is escaping my brain at this moment but there is one I've already set the traps up a little bit for it I will remember the name eventually eventually and there's only four bu bugs we're missing so it's one winter and then two spring or summers, or three spring or summers, excuse me. Um, we're gonna walk, I think, a little bit. Well, there's a gift that we may or may not be able to use. Go get it. I want to do the lower route first. The bug that we need is available um, down in the um, in the area where we were just about to go to. I am stuck. That is not it, I don't think. It may have been it. I don't remember. I need to look it up. It is, a, it is, I think it's a super rare, so it may be very difficult to get. It's available, I know, I remember on sunny days and I think rainy days. It's This is its main, this is a bundle. That is it, actually. That is the bug we needed. 
a birdwing butterfly, and we got a double catch. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's actually a little silly. <laughs> That's actually very silly. That day one, we're already done with the bugs. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go take care of this and then uh, go to the upper route. Did she remember correctly? She did. Good job. Well, it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm not having to water anything. Just saying. Best feeling in the world. So I also did look into... Oh, something I'm very confused about. Which is... Okay, we need to stack these to where they belong. Something that I'm, in, generally speaking, incredibly confused about and something else I spent a good deal of time researching was the town ranking. So I've been under the impression because all the, a lot of the, well, no, I won't say all, half of the videos that you watch when you say like how to rank up, they tell you go to festivals. Go to festivals and do errands. So I always assumed, because they told me to do it, that that is how you level up your town ranking. Ends up it's not. That has been a lie that all those videos and all the articles have been lying about. I lost count of how many told me that to go to festivals. Festivals will give you points. It doesn't. It gives you no points. So all the festivals where I've been trying hard to get points, they don't do anything. I don't know how I feel about that now. I mean, because the thing is that a lot of people just like me thought that was a thing. They thought it was a thing. So it's not just a me problem. It is a pretty community wide problem. <laughs> Um, that people thought that that is how you level up. And it's not. It is not at all how you level up. Leveling up only, ha your town ranking only is increased. So you gave me all tea leaves, right? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, leveling up is mainly um, only done through... I, do I need a tiger tail? No. Okay. It's mainly done through... Uh, do I need... I, this is just a donate, isn't it? Okay, we'll go donate that. Uh, leveling up is only through the museum. Because people thought that, as, as was I, all the articles and a lot of the videos about leveling up your rank all said that going to festivals... Um... That improves your town ranking because it goes under heritage. It doesn't at all. It goes under nothing. It doesn't help you with anything. I know I'm having a hard time figuring out what the heritage does. I think it's when you complete the bundles and you level this up, how parts of the island improve. I'm guessing that actually is what that is. Um, that is to me something that really needs to be clarified, like big time, big time clarification is required. Um, because I, that, that was the impression I had. Oh, well, we gotta get our gift. So anyway, so that is, that's what I found out. So there really is no point to going to the festivals other than people will shame you for the festivals like all the townies will be like why didn't you go to the festival why didn't you go to the festival that's really it you gain the points but other than that there really is no point that is what i found in all my research 
Okay, we're just going to keep getting those. Uh, we're going to just sell those. I, I don't have a need for our, what would be our third and fourth. Um, so yeah, that was what I researched. So I'm like, it's, it's very frustrating. That's what I find. I'm very frustrated. Uh, we do need the rose hip. You can normally, I mean, sometimes with the harvestables, I have very good luck getting the ones I need for the, um, uh, for the altar. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I can kind of complete those on like day one. Sometimes I can't. It depends. Alt all RNG. But anyway, so that's what I found. It's very confusing. Like it's just like that's my takeaway is that it's very confusing. It's like they wanted to make a system that was different than Stardew so people couldn't say this is a clone of Stardew. But at the same time, and they made a system that was so complex in a way that everyone, I'm confused. And a lot of people are confused. Like I went on Reddit and a lot of people thought the same thing I did. That they were told because a lot of things said that going to festivals levels that up. And it ends up going to festivals does absolutely nothing for anything. It doesn't level up anything because a lot of people like me thought it was your heritage. Nope, it does nothing. There's no benefit to it. So that was what I found out. Like I guess a little frustrating. Um, are you actually super rare? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. I'll have to find out how much that's worth and decide if I want to keep it uh, to put through the bug thing a couple times to move on a little bit from maybe our uh, Atlas moths. <laughs> Yeah, we're just, how much were you? Okay, I'll sell you. I don't want you. Um, the, what was I going to say? Um, the tar berries are good through, um, like all through these. So we'll keep them for that. Do I? room or we'll keep this in here to move you to where you belong no I don't but I'm tempted to see get rid of basil is good through the keg we're just going to process all of it except for these two make room for these and of course aging across the board helps almost everything but not everything can be aged um that is what i found we're gonna that's uh we're gonna put i think some pumpkins through I mean, but just generally speaking, um, aging, which we, I'm, I'm hoping we unlock it soon. Um, that will help a lot. Cause eight, like, but like I said, every, not everything can be aged, but some things can be. I sold something I shouldn't have. You. Yes. Okay. We are going to go continue our round. Like for these, um, putting this through, uh, this doubles their value. And then of course, um, some of the honey can then be aged into mead. I don't know if we're going to actually do that with the honey, especially these ones. It's kind of like you got to pick and choose again. Um, I actually wanted this chest because this is my random things that don't work. This goes in here. Nope, it goes in here. And this goes in there. Oh, because I'm out of it. I'm like, why won't you file? It's because I'm out. And then this is just going to get sold. Okay, we need to continue. Wow, we've done nothing today. I need to go harvest those again. So we're going to go over here. 
Pocket R. We're keeping you in there as much as I want to get rid of you. I can. I'm not touching you. We're trying to invest in the future right now. That was a lag spike and then some. It is very difficult for me not to like move those because I. That's not as high as I want it to be. That's mainly why is because that number is not as high as I want. Oh, here's another one of these. They don't, they must be at least rare to super rare. I don't remember what level they were of rarity. There's another one. They can't be that rare. Or to silvers only. Ooh, look at us. We glow. The only reason I chose this is that night it can be a little difficult to see. So why not? There is one expensive flower, I think. A Roth. Hmm. Uh, Raphasia? I butchered it 100%. Um, I normally, I, I don't really ever get that many of them. A Raphasia flower, if you don't know what it looks like, um, it looks very similar. Hello, ghost. Yeah, it looks very similar to this, I think, believe. Hi. Oh, thank you for the pair. It was interesting that um, when we were at the festival, like who I forgot who told us about the ghost, but that is cool that they actually give us something. Like, so that's like the ghost of a, a young boy, a farmer boy. Ooh. Was this open the whole time or this just opened? I think that just opened. Okay, well, man, I'm dawdling today. We've done nothing. But the, I didn't, I think the Roth, Rothasia flower is mainly a, I think I've always found it back here. I could be wrong. Like the harvestables, I don't really pay that much attention to because I kind of do rounds everywhere. So I don't pay too much attention to where they are. But it is about the equivalent value of um, the Titum Aureum or whatever that thing is called for winter. It's about the same value. It's like... The honey is worth like 2500 again for the base. What are you? Oh, a rove beetle? I can talk to you because you're actually out. Dyed hair again? I had a chat with Archie yesterday. He, Even he's buzzing about our sea rain. Can't blame him. I need to make sure Dad's heater works properly this winter. I'll order him some extra blankets too, maybe. Such a good son. Accidentally stepped in on a puddle when I went outside with no shoes this morning, and now I, I can't feel the toes on my right foot. Dang it! God, I'm sure I, I'm. I'll be sure to always wear shoes from now on. And that's all you got. How hard are you to catch? Actually, decently hard. Wow. Okay, so technically, a wasp should never exist in the winter. Because any type of bee, they cannot fly if it's below a certain temperature. Like their wings physically cannot flap. That shouldn't exist. Well, actually, technically, in a, in a climate where palm trees exist, snow also shouldn't because it is normally so rare for that to exist, you know? Just saying. You gotta, it's like one of those things you gotta put the rational mind behind and oh there's our other thing so we have all the harvestables or scavengeables for the altar so we're going to kind of make our way to the altar and 
Yeah, we do. I have my fishing list. There are a decent amount of winter only things. We will probably start looking at that tomorrow. A lot of them are snow, I believe. There is a, a festival. Well, there's two festivals, I guess. One of them I use festival in bunny quotes because it lasts a few days. So it's a festival. It's more of the fair. It's like the equivalent in Stardew Valley of the, the festival at the docks. That's a probably about the equivalent that it is. So it has like a bunch of trivia. And then there's the New Year's Eve Fest. That's the festivals for this season. New Year's Eve Fest, we need to buy a dish there to finish a bundle. Or an altar. There are altars in this game. So that is something we will need to do. Ah, uh, bug. Okay, we're donating. Um, it is this one. Oh, you are getting base level. Yeah, so we just need the snowdrop and the tea leaf. And then this one, we need cotton and this. So actually, I should look at the cotton. I didn't even pay attention to um to how often it respawns or regrows. Is it this one? Nine days. Okay. So nine days, 11 days, 12 days. So it's going to be a while before we can even attempt the bundle. Alter, the an altar. Okay, what can be sold? Um, Pansies we're going to keep for flowers. They're not worth much. I'll sell one of each, I think. We're going to see right now how much you are worth. I actually am just going to go to bed because uh, we wasted a lot of time today. <laughs> shocking, I know. So shocking. Okay, that's going there. That's going there. The pear, I don't know what to do with. It's going to go there for now. Okay, we need to do more of this before we go to bed. I did not know if you middle mouse click inside that, it harvests everything. Mind is a little blown. I did it because that's a Minecraft thing that I do. Shocking. Oh, that's how I, that's what I have in modded Minecraft. My organized chest or sort chest to set to is middle mouse button. Mainly for vault hunters. And then it kind of just stuck for all. Because I've reached a point with Minecraft where I cannot play without a sorting chest function. I just like, I can't, I just I can't. 8,000, okay, where, how much? You're worth 512. Well, all right then, I think Atlas Moth has been replaced a little bit. Raj's birthday. Hello, Dinks. Yeah, I think Atlas Moth has been replaced. Sunny. Frying pan. Okay. 
where we were supposed to find Yuri. Oh, well. Um, I lost one of my hats the other day. A powerful gust of wind blew it away. So if you find my hat, kindly return it to me, Connor. I thought this was going to be like a quest similar to, um, Stardew Valley. It's, it's kind of is, but kind of isn't. Okay, so hold on. So four, no, he still isn't replaced. Okay. We will leave these in here. It's It hurts me because we're sitting on a lot of money right now. It's like it hurts me not to take him because that's a lot. I wish that wasn't a feature. Like I, 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 I wish it wasn't like that. Mm. Yeah, every day we'll have to fill this now. I think we still need a large quail egg. If Gale can move, I can pick it up. Yep. Um, we'll come back. I can't pick it up. I physically cannot pick it up right now. So we're gonna see if going away and coming back helps. I recently checked that. I don't remember how much I, I can put. I'll check on the the silo how much, if I can add anything. Then we might do that tomorrow. Okay, let's go back and see if we can collect an egg. Huh. Osmium. Wow. Hmm. We're just going to put it through the mayonnaise machine again. I might save it though for... I'm going to research this actually. We're going to put it... Oh, that's where I put that. That's right. We're going to put it in here. And I'm going to research... Um, I'm going to research if it is better to hope to see if we unlock um but I um I think I'm gonna hold on to this and see if it's better to put it through the mason jar and then put it through the aging barrel. I think that's what I want to do. That requires some research. But we do need to, I, I, I think we are gonna go kind of all in on kegs. Like, I think the kegs are going to be where our automation goes. And the mason jars are going to kind of just stay as they are, not add to them at all. Uh, animals are done. Okay, we're going to go to town. Where is Raj? Um, at home? At home. Give them their birthday present. I 
And I might do some fishing today. Um, as I said, there's a lag spike. There's a decent amount of fish that finish bundles. Nope, altars in this game. I'm trying to say altars and remain remember to say altars because we're not in Stardew Valley, but I have been playing a little bit of Stardew Valley. So it makes it difficult. <laughs> there are bundles in that game. Raj. Um, we're gonna make this easier for myself. This should get us a lot of points with them. Just for curiosity, where is Raj on social? Three. Okay. Happy birthday. You didn't have to get me anything for my birthday, but I'm glad you did. This gift is awesome. Same message that that is loved gifts of, gifts of theirs. So yeah, two full hearts. Okay. Worth it. Now, so for this season, um, for the fishing, a silver arowana, a Asian sheephead, a rainbow fish, and a yellow twin tuna are all altar ingredients or items. So we have a lot of fishing to do to catch them all. Um, the, there is one legendary fish in the green sawfish that is available only in snowy weather at the estuary. The other snowy slash windy fish, I believe, or no, snowy fish is a yellow fin tuna, a snowy or windy fish is a rainbow fish. But right now, we can go to the ocean forest by our house and get an Asian sheep head. We can go in the mornings or afternoons to the mines, which is what I think we're going to do. And we need to get a silver arowana. So I think that's where we're going this morning. Um, to try to get a silver arowana. Which, if we don't get a double... A double catch, we will probably dupe it in our breeder. Which I have to say, that is something that I'm the happiest that this is his hat right here. Um, I am happy I got the breeders as easy as early as I did. That has made this game so much easier. It's like the one thing I think I would give a tip is it, yes, is it a lot of money? It is a lot of money. But it is worth it. It is money very much well spent. It is something that I, having done it on this save early, I think it is something that I will forever now do early in any save. Um, this is all garbage except for Mayor's hat. Where is Mayor? Mm hmm. We will do a search for the mayor. Oh, Connor, Connor, why am I? Oh, because it's like, why am I not finding him? Because of that. At sockets. Hey, Scott. I do like his winter outfit. Hey. Yeah, that's a good look for him. Not many plants can survive the winter snow. I mean, I hope it means less work for you. Maybe I, you can bring some more of those artifacts from the cavern. I feel bad sometimes when I go and see Charles eating alone. He doesn't really get any visitors. I mean, I don't exactly have a line of friends waiting at my doorstep either. Guess we're in the same boat, but something about Charles tugs at my heartstrings. Not a reason to be friends with someone because you feel bad. This is pretty now. 
That normally is like a setup for a disaster of a toxic relationship is when you're only friends with someone because you feel bad for them. Oh, it worked. This scene. Oh, we don't carry that item. I love how he's just standing on top of her. Um, how could you not carry earbuds? Isn't this an electronic shop? I agree. The shop has been poorly managed from the outset. But... Of course we carry earbuds, Macy. They're right here. Right in front of you, Dad. Ugh. I don't know what to noise to make for clenched teeth. I guess saying that he's saying it with clenched teeth? I don't know. I am so poorly labeled, too. I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. Just, I'm really in a hurry. I'll have a sec, please. Did you forget something, Dad? I forgot to, to guide her to the best purchases, electronic shops in Beluga Bay. Beluga Bay for a better deal. I can still catch her if I hurry. Sorry, he's a jerk. No, Dad, you forgot to charge her. So I did. Well, I'm sure she'll return it when she invariably discovers the item is defective. Oh, you, I... Poor Luke. No wonder his clientele is dwindling. I'm sorry, but go to hell, investor lawyer guy. He is just like the scum of the earth. Connor. Achieving rank C is commendable milestone. Great job. I admit shopping can get addictive. Yeah, you do have a shopping addiction, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I was expecting this to fully be a, uh... Oh, we need to get him a salmon. I was fully expecting this to be... You know what? We'll buy that. We'll buy this, and then that will force that one next week to be for $400 off, I believe. That way we can say we have a fully upgraded house. Um... I don't remember what I was saying. It doesn't matter. I guess, I don't know. Hi, see, look at him working hard. I have no idea what I was saying. I got so distracted. Eggplant. Yeah, I was surprised to see an eggplant as a harvestable. I was like, huh? Like. Because I mainly I, I was confused the first time I harvested that because it's also something you can plant. So I was like, what is going on? I kind of like, are they the same thing? I was like so genuinely confused. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say was that there are certain things I did put in this chest over here that are gonna get moved to the kegs. I'm not processing anything here, so it's fine. Like that's just kind of sitting there. There are very few items that the mill is the best choice. Nope, this is the wrong chest. Nope, still the wrong chest. Ah, there we go. Nope, wrong one. We will process this through here, I think. Why not? I don't need a cod, and I don't need you, and I don't need you, and I don't need you, or you, or you, you, you. I will sell that because 100% uh, selling. Okay, we are going to go continue our route, and we're going to end... Um, um, Morning, afternoon. It actually we're gonna go fast travel to the um the mines and go fishing in there really quick. I was gonna go fishing over here, but that that fish is available anytime. So we are gonna concentrate on the fishing for the first. Okay, we have a cutscene. No, not this. Time. No. Anything with the fun bucket always bothers me. 
Look, Fun Bucket, look at your favorite tree. Remember the one with all the sap dripping down it? Quack. No, I could have sworn this was the one. Nice to see you. I'm just taking Fun Bucket for a walk, trying to get the old juices flowing, you know? Still not quite himself. I still have to find Yuri, but we'll do another day. The sun usually does him good, but I don't know. Just gotta keep those positive vibes flowing, right? You want to go home already? Oh. Okay, buddy, okay. We'll take it easy today, no problem. Take him to a vet, please. Don't worry, Lexi. He'll be up and shaking his tail feathers in no time. Hmm. Oops, sorry if you saw a flash. Whoa! I uh, clicked outside my, um, accidentally clicked outside my window. I wish there was a way to stop that from happening. There isn't. I haven't found one. Okay, we are going in here to go fishing for a silver sil, mm, silver arowana. It is in the earth water or air mind. We're going to go to water. I don't think it matters. It is through the afternoon. So we have a few hours left. And then we will continue. Nope. Yeah, that that's what I wanted to do. I need to move a step back. This is too, I can't see what's going on. This is an altar item. Is it? I, is that, I don't remember if I said that or not. So difficult. Predatory fish. It's known to jump out of water and pursue prey. We'll try to catch one more. I don't know how much these are worth. I may Google it really quick. That coloring looks really weird. What do you know? Another one. A gold? Now my curiosity is piqued how much it's worth. Being how easy that was to catch, I'm guessing not a lot. Could be wrong, you know. We'll go one more and then we're going to switch to the other altar one which is the Asian sheep head. This, the Asian sheep head, I remember doing this for days. There are no fish, according to my notes, that are specific days only. So that's a good thing. There are also no sharks to catch in the winter. I need to get a salmon. Okay, well, we're getting this now. Okay. Where do I need to go for the salmon? Let's see if we can look in game to find this information. Now, that's the wrong button. Uh, salmon, salmon, salmon never looks like I think it should. There it is. Saltwater fish. I kind of remember getting this. Um, I kind of remember getting that at the dock. But I don't remember what time, so I'm going to do some research. Okay, we're going um, to walk through here. Um, we're going to kind of do like a quick like whoop. Yeah, this one still isn't right. I'm thinking this is the heritage site when these improve. It's 
So that is those rankings. At least that's my assumption. And it is never great to assume. Okay. We'll just do a quick little thing by um, the road going or this path going to the Band of Smiles. And then um, we'll go through the forest to get our daily hardwood. I did want to go and see if the upgraded version of the barn and coop were in the game yet. Just not that I would I need to upgrade them right now. It's more to find out how much it is for planning purposes, because there really is no information on um, the wiki or the guide how much it is so I don't know if it's because that is not in the game right now or you know what I do fully think that is a thing that once you've caught the bug anyway they become easier because that that bug I could not catch yesterday, and now that I've caught it and I've donated it, it's easy. Um, I do think there's more of those spots in winter, too. I do think that is a thing. I need to do pathways over here. I am thinking of um, going through... Because we have a decent amount of, um, oh, I'm out of, I wish this was in your face more. I do have a decent amount of um, points for um, concentrating what I'm doing. Okay, I have a decent amount of merit points. Part of me is tempted to buy one of each of the... Um, bonuses and leveling up some of our skills that way. The little elixirs. Part of me was a little tempted to do some of those. Um, we're not going to donate the silver arowana. Uh, I want to find out how much the gold one is worth. gonna go fishing right now right here it's this area you can go anywhere here really except for bot where and when it's close to the um the oil spill that's the only place you can like i'm surprised we can actually fish here but this one that doesn't seem to mind the one that's over here it mines Okay, let's go Asian Sheephead. I remember having to work on this one for a few days. I remember this one being a pain in the butt. That is what I have a clear memory of. And it was pretty much like up until the end of winter. <laughs> Still wondering, like, am I ever going to get this thing? I don't remember if it's available another season or not. It's definitely... It's at least a winter and another season. It could be fully... I didn't go into that much detail in my short little list. That's how I'm finding this game is easier, is if you make tiny little lists for yourself of what you need to concentrate on in this little time frame. I am finding that to be infinitely easier than like 
making a huge spreadsheet. It's like, this is what I have to concentrate on this season. Like, it's a list of, like, 10, 12 items. And it's just, like, a small, like, it needs this weather and this time and this location. Versus a very detailed spreadsheet. Though my color-coded spreadsheet is probably the best one that I have. There it is. Yay. We need two of these. Beads on shellfish and something. She looks a little creepy with the light hitting her face, I have to say. Like those uh, shadows are not doing much for her. There we go, another one. I will also have to see how much he is worth. I think it says feeds on shellfish and crustaceans, maybe? I keep cl clicking the next thing too fast. Um, I've been eating that. We can go get a box fish. At, we can get a swordfish at the dock. Um, actually, we're, we'll do that. For now, we're going to sell the firefish. Yeah, we don't need the firefish. These are both donate offers. Um, I will look at the prices. Actually, I may pause really quick and just look at the prices. I'll be right back. Okay, answer to the question is neither of these is worth a lot. So we're going to go offer them. <laughs> and then donate them. Yeah, unless it's pretty much like the shark or a shark or like the sawfish for this season, they are not worth it. But basically how it is, unless it's legendary at this point, it is, it is not worth it for us to keep at all. So we will donate. Um, they, I think this one definitely is a winter only item or fish. So we did good getting them. What time is it? Yeah, we're going to go to the docks and fish for the rest of the night. Um, you look very out of place, Ma. Like kind of like a random place for the mall. Always forget I can't go that way. I did realize for the festival, I don't know if I, I didn't say this, I did forget um, no way. I did fully forget to do the Giants Parade. There was no, why am I here? There are no, there were no points for it. It's just it was just a scene, it was just a cut scene. I didn't get it. We'll get it next year. It was nothing special. It's kind of why I just kind of I forgot about it fully. Because it was it wasn't anything that special when I saw it the first time. I don't remember how hard the swordfish was. At all. I will have to research the salmon or whatever it is for Jim, and we'll probably work on that next episode. I don't know why I don't remember that Jim mission at all. I don't know why. I have no memory of it. Normally I can remember things like, I remember the green tea. This has got to be something difficult because this is a little difficult or something rarer, I guess I should say. See how much it's going down. So it's definitely something that's a little bit more challenging. Is it a swordfish? I don't know. It is. Its long pointy bill is said to resemble a sword. I don't say. Actually, we might go to the 
the lookout after I get this in. Eh, is it worth it? I don't know. I'll do it. Yeah, this is the better season, I think, to get the pink snapper. They're available other seasons, but I always seem to get a lot of them in the winter. We'll stay here until like 1130. What do you have on offer today? Nothing. Nothing at all. Only thing we can get here is a box fish. That would be the only helpful thing right now. Other than maybe a salmon, I don't remember. A mackerel. Of course it's a mackerel. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, mackerel. The mackerel is just so common. It will definitely be pretty far by the end of... Um, of winter. Yeah, that's what I want to do. We'll probably be pretty far at the end of winter with the fish. The fish will probably be very filled in. I think after winter that we'll be officially done with the possibly the any any fish where it's any season, any weather. Well, some of them are rain or snow, but the any season fish. Okay, we're going. We'll just, um, we're close enough that we're just going to go home this way. Yeah, but the first rain or snow, or snow, it's snow, we're going to be probably um, going for the legendary fish. Oh, you can get donated. You are done. You are done. You are done. We're just going to go to bed and end the episode. And tomorrow there are two birthdays. I'm stuck. There we go. Leveled up with Raj and Tinkle. 7,800. The catching. I'm telling you, it's the catching. 512. Because <gasps> of the perk. That is why, so maybe we should keep one of those. I, I didn't look into the perk. I don't know how much we get. No, the... The other one should be the same. Because of where I didn't put the perk in. Farming. Pumpkin juice. Okay. I can look at this for a while. Well, we're not going to, though. We're going to end the day. <laughs> Now that, because I don't want you to go look at what prices are, you're like, ooh, how much is this? How much is that? How much can I get for this? And it needs to stop. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coral Island. Next episode, we're probably going to concentrate on the fishing some more. Um, We will possibly, it depends on the weather. We'll check it right now. Sunny. Um, We will... Maybe do some fish and get rid of the any fish. Um, and then probably start a mine or diving. It doesn't matter at this point. Either need to be done. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Mm -hmm.